Hello everybody and welcome to day 11 of my beginner sewing course. Um, as you can probably tell, I've been filming like a lot of videos in one day. So like yesterday I filmed three videos and today I'm also filming three videos. That's why I'm really like, wearing the same outfit. Um, but yeah, if I seem a little tired, that's probably why because like I have to do a lot. I'm leaving for Nunavut in like 20 days. So I have to film this whole series in 20 days. So like, I think I can do it. I just gotta like, you know, stay calm stay cool so what are we gonna do today we are doing a lettuce ham so uh you're gonna need some stretch fabric because if you want to do a lettuce ham it has to be like with stretchy fabric and this is what a lettuce ham looks like um it's super cute and it's actually really easy so let's get into it so this lettuce ham technique works best on jersey or lightweight knit so make sure that's what you're using and when you're cutting one-way stretch fabric, make sure the hem is cut on the stretchy side. Right now, my fabric has its wrong side facing up, and that's how you should have yours as well. And what you're going to do is just fold it up at about like one inch, and then pin that. And make sure you pin at the top here, because we're going to be sewing along the bottom edge. Okay, so before taking it to the sewing machine, let me just explain what's going to happen. So you're going to be using a zigzag stitch all around that hem. And while you're doing the zigzag stitch, you want to pull on both sides of the fabric. You're usually going to be doing this on a t-shirt, so it's going to be like a, a circle. So you're going to be able to keep pulling at the beginning and the end. And this is why I'm asking you to cut the hem on the stretchy side, because if the side that you're cutting it on isn't stretchy, well, the lattice hem just isn't going to work. So you're gonna be choosing uh, the zigzag stitch that you wanna do. I'm gonna go with nine because it's a very wide zigzag. Like there are other types like 12, I don't really like that one. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with nine. And the stitch length has to be like tiny. So I'm going to put it at one. You can also do 1.5 if that's like, the minimum that your machine goes at and some people say to like um, lower the thread tension but I actually quite like it at five so I'm going to keep it there so before we start sewing a couple of things to note so when you press your uh, presser foot down or like the lever your needle in the zigzag should go from left to right obviously but when it's going left it should pierce the fabric and when it's going right it shouldn't be touching the fabric and that's going to create a sort of overcast effect. Also, while you're sewing, you're going to have to stretch out the fabric. So you're gonna have to hold the top and the bottom here and stretch it out or like pull it as you're sewing. Of course, uh, it's a little difficult right now because like in a shirt, you know, like it would just be continuous, but like this, there's like, there's only this little thing for me to hold on to, so <laughs> it's difficult, but it'll be easier when you have a shirt. Let me just place my needle, my needle in the correct way. Okay, this should be good. So let's start sewing. Sorry, my cat's meowing. Um, so this is the wrong side of the fabric. So you can see the fold that's still there. And this is what the right side of the fabric looks like. Uh, you're gonna be using matching thread when you do it. So it's gonna like look better. Right now, it doesn't look very good because I used a uh, contrasting thread. Um, now, what I wanted to show you is you can actually use your iron and the steam on it to make your, um, your like curls pop a little more. So. See what I mean. <laughs> That's scaring my cat. And as you can see, it makes the, the, the curves just more curvy. So that's just a little tip. 
if you want it to be more curvy. And also I find that like the more you stretch it when you're actually sewing it, the curvier it'll be. So if you want less curves, just stretch it a little less. And there you have it, a lettuce ham. Doesn't it look amazing? And it's so easy. It's like, I would even say it's easier than the straight ham and obviously easier than the rolled ham. <laughs> it was such a pain. But yeah, I mean, it looks amazing and it's super easy. So I'm gonna be using it a lot and I think you are too. Actually, we are going to be using it later on, like in the last couple of videos when you were actually sewing clothing. So that's exciting. Stay tuned for that. And your homework is obviously just to practice your lettuce hem. So I hope you had fun. I had fun, even though like it was a, a long day, but yeah, it was super fun. And I will see you in day 13, in day 13. Oh my God, it's hard to keep track. Okay, see you in day 13, bye-bye. <laughs>